we had this unique opportunity to travel to the Gulf of Mexico, uh, which we had scheduled a cruise months before the oil spill had ever happened. Uh, so again, our original intent was not to study the impact of the oil spill, but we realized that our study sites were in very close proximity to the regions impacted by the spill. Uh, so therefore, we had an opportunity uh, to uh, pursue and, and say, how does the impact, how does the oil itself impact the development of low oxygen conditions in this region because historically this, is, this region has a tendency to develop low oxygen or hypoxic conditions in the spring and summer months and it's often therefore called the dead zone because the low oxygen conditions result in fish kills or deaths to shrimp or crabs or whatever. Uh, so what our initial thought once we heard about the spill was that the presence of the oil might actually enhance the development of these low oxygen or hypoxic conditions and in essence make the dead zone worse. And then there was some water column which is what I um, did and spent all my time doing pretty much um, which is a giant rosette thing, you send it down, it analyzes oxygen, salinity and temperature, comes back up, you pick your depth you want and it collects water at that depth. And then I collected the water in bottles that we analyzed back here. I talked to Dr. Ostrom um, one day about doing research. Um, I, actually, this fall, I'm going to Antarctica to study Lake Vita, which is a completely ice sealed lake. Um, and he wanted me to get more practice in um, doing the same techniques I'd be doing. It was really a good example of how science collaboration can work and work on a very tight time frame because we initially had the research crews plan to focus on nitrogen cycling in the coastal Gulf of Mexico. And when the oil spill happened, we realized that, that the sites were in very close proximity to the source of the oil and likely to be impacted. More of what I'm realizing is just up here, it doesn't really affect us too much. Down there, it really affects a ton of people. And I guess I didn't really realize it before going, but like after going on the trip, I realized how much we can help with people in that area. We believe that the oil spill is actually going to enhance the development of low oxygen or anoxic conditions in the dead zone. And we believe this is going to be a function of the fact that the oil is likely to enhance uh, community respiration, that that oil is going to be degraded by microbial organisms. And when they do that, oxygen is consumed. The oil is likely to decrease photosynthesis, which is a source of oxygen that might prevent development of the dead zone. And lastly, oil has been shown to change the exchange of gases across the surface from the atmosphere into the, into the ocean itself. And this is a major source of oxygen to the coastal waters. And so the presence of the oil film may actually decrease the supply of oxygen from the atmosphere. So all three of those are likely setting up a situation where hypoxia may get worse.